Hey guys, good morning. It is another cold day in Washington. Listen, we've got a helicopter about to take off from the White House. So we're going to run down there, catch Marine One's departure. Then, don't really know. How about the Library of Congress? Yeah, you know, there's a beautiful Christmas tree in the Library of Congress. Maybe we'll go over there. Maybe we'll just get a burger. Let's figure it out. All right. Hey, you guys were the cool kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're in the back. Hi, everybody. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Oh, we're not doing oval. All right, we're doing a residence departure. The Marine's already out. Is he out? Check. I'm not going up there. I'm going over here. It's a crowded one today. Oh, this sucks. Where can we find a spot? Way back. In the corner, I guess. That'll have to do. That's him. Let's move. Let's move. Ah. Happy birthday-ish. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, departure. He is on his way to Las Vegas and then off to Los Angeles. He's coming back to Delaware on Sunday and then Philadelphia on Monday. Probably back here Monday night. We haven't seen the full schedule, but I would assume. So, Mr. Ladder, we won't need you for a few days. Okay. We are done here. That was fun. Quick, easy, just took off right away. I mean, I literally had my ladder set up and, he, and I saw his private agents coming out. So he has like a couple agents that are with him like all the time. And that's sort of a trigger for us that he's about to walk out the door. So as soon as I got my ladder up, I saw that agent. I was like, well, this is going to go down right now. Oh, there's the Christmas tour people coming out of the East Wing, taking pictures. And we got some Gaza protesters out in front of the Capitol, or in front of the White House. Let's go over there and check them out. All right, so what do we got outside? We got a bunch of bike cops. We have one Gaza protester with a bunch of flags. We got rainbow flags, red balloons. Pretty ordinary day. Oh, there's more. Oh, these are the doctors that were here yesterday. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's uh, Nadine. She's always out here. Or she's always protesting. All right. She's upset. She's going to the Secret Service asking them to clear someone out. They're like, hey, it's free country, whatever. separate them. Yeah, because babies are dying! Children are dying! Why aren't you emotional about it? Why aren't you emotional about it? Okay, guys, we are up now on Capitol Hill, and we are making our way over to the Library of Congress. Library of Congress is open to the public for a tour, but if you want to actually do research, you have to get a special card. I don't have one of those. We'll just take the public tour. Okay, so over here on my left is the Folger Theater. Folger Shakespeare Library it used to be called, I think. Now, they just had a massive renovation that went on here, and they built like a giant underground. So under this grass is like a patio kind of place. Some, uh, some new storage. Yeah, the Folger Shakespeare Library. And it is part of the Library of Congress. We're going to go into the Jefferson Building. There's also the Adams Building, which is uh, on to our left. And lots of stuff underneath. <laughs> They've got deep storage underneath and tunnels that cross so they can move the books from one building to another without them getting wet. Over there on the right is the Supreme Court. And of course, just up ahead is the U.S. Capitol building. So let's make our way over to the Congress, the Library of Congress, and take a look inside. There's your U.S. Capitol building. All is quiet at the Capitol, even though the budget crisis is coming up in just a few weeks. Eh, deal with it tomorrow. Why deal with something today when you can deal with it tomorrow? By the way, I've ever shown you these, these traffic bollards. They have the U.S. government seal car, or etched right into the traffic bollards. And that goes all around the Capitol. So these aren't your generic Walmart-style traffic bollards. These are official U.S. government traffic bollards. And they work better that way. <laughs> all right, let's go into the Library of Congress. Okay, guys, we are in the Library of Congress now. We just had to go through security. I'm going to show you the ceilings in here because they are pretty amazing. Yeah. But that's nothing compared to in here. What do you guys think? I think the Christmas tree is over here somewhere. Oh, I got a Hanukkah menorah up right here.
there's the tree. It's way up there. Right, we're gonna have to go up there. First, let's dump some of this gear. Let's find a bench. Okay, we are in the main lobby of the Library of Congress, but we're gonna go upstairs now to the second floor and take a closer look at that Christmas tree and the ceiling, yeah? Let's go. So as we come down in the main lobby of the Library of Congress, we just spin over here to the left and we see the Gutenberg Bible. Yeah, this is the Gutenberg Bible. This was in 1455 in Mainz, Germany, the printing of the Bible. Most copies were on paper, but this one is printed on a vellum, a fine parchment made from animal skins. It's one of only several perfect vellum copies to survive. In the 50 years, hundreds of presses emerged, printing millions of books after Gutenberg's invention. Okay guys, let's go upstairs. We're gonna go up this rather ornate staircase. Lots of little cherubs and stuff on the sides. Thank you. Sir, that's fine. Yes. It's very intricate, the carvings in here. And let's get closer up to the ceiling. And over here is the Christmas tree. The Library of Congress Christmas tree. Quite nice. Look at that star. That's a cool star. I should get one of those for my tree. So on the we don't have ornaments, well we do, but we have books. Little books are all over the thing, written by kids. Different states, Georgia, Maryland, Indiana, Ohio, New Mexico, Idaho, Maine. Books from all over the country. Texas, North Dakota. And it just lines this tree. Ceiling to floor. What an ornate place to put a Christmas tree, yeah? And for those who are wondering exactly where the Library of Congress is, well, we just go over to this window right here, you get a better idea. There's the U.S. Capitol, just across the street. Let's go up to the main reading room, which is over there. Okay, let's leave the Christmas tree behind for a minute. And let me take you up to the next level, which is pretty cool. This is the level for the main reading room. Now we can't go in the main reading room. It's reserved for congressional staff and professional researchers. They have to have like a thing, but you can come up here and take a cool photo. No photos on the staircase. I'm not taking a photo, I'm taking a video. Look at that thing. That's pretty amazing. And in we go. This is the main reading room for the Library of Congress. Then in this space you have 80,000 volumes of books. This is the general reference collection of dictionaries, catharsis, encyclopedias. Okay, let's walk out. There again is that mosaic. It's all made of little tiles, basically. Pretty amazing. Let's, uh, let's head over to that little side room. There's some cool stuff over there we can take a look at, including Thomas Jefferson's private library. He donated his library, and it's still here today. The actual books he donated. Let's go take a look. Here in the round is Thomas Jefferson's private library. 
including the original books he donated and some reproductions for those that were destroyed. But these are the books Thomas Jefferson kept in his library. The London Magazine, 1769. Aristotle. And then uh, yeah, there's a fire. Now, some of these have been new ones. Some are the originals. And you'll notice most of them don't have any ribbons in them. That's because the same edition was found elsewhere in the library's other collections and transfer. It does stand out in the clearly they have. Okay, you guys had asked to see the Christmas tree in the Library of Congress. I showed you that and a little bit more. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's go out of this building now. And who knows? Donuts? What do you guys think? Should we get donuts? I think we should. Let's go see if the donut man is open yet. Hey, Penguin, this isn't the way to donuts. Yeah, the line for donuts was long. There's no parking. So we're back in the alley because the alley leads to barbecue. Lens. Let's go get some lunch. No line here. And it's not donuts, but it'll do. It'll do. Okay, guys, that is Friday in Washington. Everybody is gone, and it is time for me to work on this tree. You see, Christmas lights have been missing. I didn't have them. I couldn't find them, so I just ordered some more, and they just arrived about an hour ago. Anyway, next time you see me, this tree will be lit. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys very soon.